Hi, Dan Maloney from Atrox. I'm here to talk about the Monarch Edge encoder and decoder for remote production applications. So we're going to talk about uh, low latency transport over lossy networks. And we have a demonstration here we'd like to showcase, showcase the capabilities of our technology in being able to process these uh, or use these uh, lossy networks for production applications. So let's take a look through, run through what our demonstration consists of. What we have is an encoder decoder pair on a clean network and we have that another encoder decoder pair and we've got that on a network that's suffering from two percent packet loss we'll take one of our feeds from our um, table hockey uh, live game going on where we overlay a graphic with a counter on it the distribution amplifier is taking one of the signals and sending it to the uh, encoder on a clean network taking two signals and sending it to the encoder that's on the dirty network. These signals are being coded as an MPEG-2 transport stream in fine encoder 1 and being sent to our edge decoder. And on the dirty network, or lossy network, we're encoding both an MPEG-2 TS stream as well as an SRT stream and sending those both to the same decoder on the other end of the network. We then take a fourth feed live pass-through from the distribution amplifier straight to a quad split multi-viewer where we're comparing all the outputs. And if we take a look at the screen here, we can see the resultant of the, those of those outputs. So first thing we could see is the latency. Latency between the live input and the uh, MPEG-2 TS on a clean network. We'll also be able to see the quality of the MPEG-2 TS stream on a dirty network. Clearly, uh, the artifacting is here is unusable, just with 2% packet loss. But on an SRT, when you're using the very same network, that stream, just by adding a small amount of, of latency over what you would get on a clean network, we can compensate for all those dropped packets. Now, if we were to pause this, we would see that between the live and the clean MPEG-2 TS stream, there is approximately five frames of latency. So approximately 80 milliseconds. If we were to compare the live to the SRT stream, we could see that there's approximately seven frames of video. So about 40 additional milliseconds added to compensate from those terrible artifacting due to the packet loss. So that concludes the demonstration for um, you know, low latency transport over lossy networks. Now, of course, this was done in a lab, so I encourage you to stay tuned for the next segment where we show this technology being used over public internet and the latencies involved with that. Thank you. Hi, this is Dan Maloney, uh, Marketing Manager over at Matrox. In this segment, we're going to be show, demonstrating the capabilities of the Monarch Edge encoder and decoder in remote productions. Specifically, we'll be showcasing low latency intercontinental video transport over public internet. Now, in this demonstration, we go through a little bit what equipment we have. We have an encoder and a decoder in Montreal, and we have an additional encoder and decoder in our London office. We'll take some of the footage from our hockey game where they're currently playing, and we put a graphic overlay a counter on that feed. We take that feed and distribute it to uh, and split it to number of locations. First location is the edge encoder, which will be sent on, encoded as SRT, uh, H.264, sent over the public internet to the edge decoder in London. This is decoded, sent it as SDI feed to the encoder that's on site there, and the return, we take the very same parameters, uh, SRT protocol, H.264 encoded, and send that back to the decoder, which is found here on premise. We take that SDI output, and we compare it to the uh, live pass-through through our ampl uh, distribution amplifier, which is sent to this quad-split uh, multi-viewer. Now, if we take a look at the quad-split multi-viewer output, we have both the live and the uh, round-trip feeds. And we can certainly see that there is a discrepancy uh, in lag between the two, approximately half a second, it looks like. But if we take a look at the math associated with that, we can certainly see that there's a lot of steps, both encode and decode, 5,000 kilometers of transport to and from London. 
So when we're talking, talking about 48 millis 480 milliseconds, if you were to pause this video, we'll see approximately 28 to 29 frames. Now that's an impressive latency when you're talking about 10,000 kilometers of transport and multiple encode and decodes. So that's the end of this segment for our Monarch Edge encoder decoder lineup of products. Stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.